Do not spin these coins. We are looking at coins from the 40s all the way up until 2022 that are worth money. So if you guys have a coin jar laying around or you know you inherit a coin collection from a family member or you go to the bank, coin roll hunt, uh, you know, always be on the lookout for coins like this. You do not want to spend some of these coins because they have mint errors that can give them a lot of value. This first coin here is a 1942 Jefferson nickel that has been double struck. Now this is an error that can happen on all kinds of different coins. You can see that design being double struck there, of course, both on the obverse and the reverse of the coin. Now this is a 35% silver war nickel from 1942. Uh, we just did a video on those coins yesterday, so feel free to check it out. I'll tell you how to tell if those nickels are silver or not, and uh, you know different errors to look for and stuff like that. So feel free to check that video out. Uh, but this coin ended up selling for $336 at auction. It is graded or authenticated by NG. See. Next up is a 1944 Lincoln Wheat Cent. Now this coin here has a die break, also referred to as a cud. Even though it's not in the best condition, the coin still sold for $63 at auction. So if it was in a high mint state grade, of course it would sell for a lot more money. But that die break there at the bottom, that extra metal on the rim, is what gives the coin really all of its value in this case. Uh, because the condition just isn't there for this one. So... Uh, if it was worse condition, could have sold for less uh, as well. So keep that in mind. Grade is important. Now here's a 1959 Lincoln scent that has a ragged clip. And you'll see that there at the bottom of the coin. If we're looking at the obverse here and then uh, the reverse of the coin, you can see that side as well. Graded by Annex as a Mint State 64. This coin ended up selling for a little over $70 at auction. Last coin was graded by PCGS, by the way, the 1944 Wheat Penny. All right, so let's move on here to a 1966. Getting a little more modern here as we go. 1966 Jefferson Nickel. This coin here is graded by NGC at a mint state 63. It was struck onto a defective planchet. Kind of speaks for itself. You can see that clearly here in the images displayed. Um, you know, it's a 1966 nickel. Uh, they're very common coins, but when you find them with errors like this, it can add some value to them. That's why this coin sold for around $60 at auction. Moving along to a 1967 Lincoln cent. Now, this coin here has been double struck. It's not as noticeable as a lot of double strikes uh, that we typically look at uh, that are very obvious. You can see this one really on the lettering of the coin. You can see it there on the back of Lincoln's head. Um, you know, uh, here on the reverse, you can really see it on the lettering of the coin, United States of America there. Um, so it is noticeable if you inspect your coins very closely, but this is something that could easily get passed up. You know, someone definitely probably found this, uh, you know, from the bank or in pocket change, uh, coin roll hunting. This coin ended up selling for $73 at auction, graded by NGC. Next up is a 1974 Jefferson Nickel where the obverse has uh, a misaligned die. Obviously, you know, we can see that there around the rim of the coin. 1974, again, a very common coin, but when you have an error like this, it does add some extra value. The coin only sold for $43 at auction, so not super valuable. You know, if you sell it as is on eBay, you know, ungraded maybe for $20, $25, uh, you know, maybe that's a better route for you. Uh, but some people do like to get these graded. Uh, here's a 1989 Jefferson nickel that has a broken collar. Again, same case here. You'll see that around the rim of the coin. Graded by Annex. The coin sold for $84 at auction. So always inspect your coins. Pay attention to those rims, of course, as well. This next coin here is one of my favorites. 1997 Lincoln cent. You know, such a common coin that, you know, we find every day. You know, if you go to the bank and get rolls of pennies. Uh, this coin has been double struck and that's why it sold for over $330. Of course, we can see that double strike uh, very noticeable. You'll see the reverse design flipped over here on the obverse and you'll see that uh, same thing, the outline of Lincoln's head there on the reverse and that obverse design there, a uh, whole obverse design there on the reverse of this penny. So, very nice coin to uh, uh, to find, man. I would love to come across a 1997 like that one. I would definitely keep it in the personal collection. I don't think I would be able to sell something like that. That's one of my favorite 
type of mint errors is a double strike. And then we have the 2022 Washington quarter. Sally Ride quarter. Now, this quarter has a strike through here on the obverse of the coin. It's a little bit blurry, but you can see it there on uh, Washington's hair and ponytail there uh, going uh, on the left side of the coin behind his neck, right? So pretty obvious, you know, something easy and simple to look for on 2022 quarters that, you know, you're going to find in circulation all the time. Here's a little close up of that. Um, but yeah, awesome coin to look for. Sold for $24 on eBay as is ungraded. So I mean, if you can find 25 cents and sell it for 25 bucks, 24 bucks, uh, you know, why not? You know, it's a good deal. Uh, you're making some profit there, especially if you found a whole roll of them. Could you imagine? That'd be a, that'd be the jackpot there. Now, here is a no-dated uh, Lincoln cent. It's from the 1970s. Looks normal on the uh, reverse of the penny, but here on the obverse of this coin, you can see that it was struck through a late-stage uh, capped die. So, die is what has the design on it, and it comes down and strikes the planchet in order to create the coin. This is a die cap strike, so yeah, always be on the lookout for those. I found those uh, from uh, the bank, you know, Tons of people have found these on all kinds of different coins, not just Lincoln pennies. So uh, if you guys got a coin jar, if you inherit a coin collection, if you go to the bank and coin roll hunt uh, coins, you know, always, always look out for coins like this and inspect them closely because you never know what you might come across. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I... Disappear.